I am going to do a quick bit of research on the window to see if that's going to be easy enough to dive into today or whether I'm going to leave that to another day. But you'll find out by the title and thumbnail of this video probably. Alright, so I've already taken this window out but I've just put it back in so I can show you how it works. Literally all you do, put it down low enough so that it'll clear this little clip here. And then as you pull it up, pull it out on an angle, then it comes right out. And there you have your window out. Now I'm going to put this down somewhere where it's not going to break. Now that one's out. So I know that it's come off the track, but I'm not really sure how it's done so. If you watch in there, when I put the window up, it moves up like that. And then if I put it down, it hits on the door latch there. And it literally opens the door. <laughs> Bit weird, but anyway. So, that's what the, the, is going on. So, something here is loose that's making this turn. And the windows come off the channel. I've just removed this nut here to try and free that up because it's all bent out of shape or because someone's obviously tried to repeatedly put the window down after it's um, not like to move and has just bent it more. And then this rail here is also bent. So I'm gonna try and take it out and see if I can bend it back. If I can't bend it back, then I'll be in for a new one. Right, I'm gonna try to get you guys a look of what I'm seeing. So at the bottom, which is there, the track looks pretty much right and then as I pull it up it moves away like under the window sill there so obviously the window is not going to be able to come up if it's doing that so my theory is that that arm on the right there is bent and that's why it's doing that didn't film it but I did just get the window track back straightened so I showed you there where the mounts weren't straight I think so now I'm just gonna check if the track will work um, in putting the window up or whether I'll need to I don't know if I could bend the track the I'm just gonna call it the window holder more or whether I'll have to get a new mechanism, which actually isn't too bad. I searched it up, 60 bucks for a new mechanism, which I think is very good. I've just taken the window mechanism out of the window um, because my theory is that this part here is bent. So you can see that it's sort of on an angle there. And I think it's bent. I'm gonna do some research and see what they're supposed to look like to see if I'm right. Um, but yeah, that's the only real thing I can see that it could be. So after trying to bend it back and inspecting it, I couldn't really bend it back. It looks slightly bent, but looking at photos of it, it doesn't, it, yeah, it doesn't look incredibly bent. So my plan is to reinstall it in the hope that it was, because I think it's been taken out before in the hope that last time it was taken out, it was installed wrong. So if I install it right, it should work. Okay, so after cycling this through a few, a few times, I think I've figured out the source of the problem is maybe that it was slightly bent, this could have caused it, but it's very hard to slide. Much when it goes to the top, the left like arm here will get all the way to the end and it'll get stuck there. So then when it comes down, it'll come down a lot further to this side, which catches, which makes it get caught on everything um, and would have been what bent it. So I'm gonna try and re-grease these things. So that way they'll move freely and they'll just move up and down in the same position. Cause right now I'll show you the best way you can see it. So, and that's how difficult it is to push the rail. Ow. 
So I'll push the rail all the way across to here, right? I think you got it's here. When it's going down, I'll keep my finger here. Put it up all the way. Bring it back down. And it slid across all the way. So I think that's because we need to re-grease it. So I've got some grease. Just gonna try and chuck it in the track there and then run it back and forth. Just gave the window edges a clean, like you can't even see it right now, um, so that they won't stick to the rubber. So hopefully this will be all good when I chuck it back in. I also had to put this, um, I don't even know what you call it. It's like the window holder in, I guess. Um, wasn't too bad, just had to start from the back and then work my way forward and gave it a slight tap with a um, rubber mallet to get it on um, in like one hard part, the rest I could just push on with my hands. And the other thing I saw when I looked up a video is make sure that there's still a little groove at the back there because otherwise you won't get it into the track. All right, we'll give this an attempt at chucking it in to the door now and then hopefully Fingers crossed, it should all work now. Because it wasn't even in that window holder thing when I first opened it up. So I fixed that, bent it back, and re greased it. Grab my freshly cleaned glass that I'm now getting fingerprints on, but I'll clean it again. Now I'm just going to get it in the front and back linings, which it is, and then slide it down slowly. That's probably not a good thing that it doesn't fall really easy, but that's cool. I'm not sure how well you can see this, but essentially, just got to line up these holes. Thread these in hand tight. Tip for anyone wanting to do this at home, do this front one first and then the back one because the back one has a slider and it's a lot easier that way. Um, front one wasn't lining up for a bit, I just had to sort of wriggle it around, move the actual window motor up and down a bit until I found a good spot. Now, moment of truth. It went up. And it comes down. Not great. I might spray a bit of WD-40 down into the seals on the side there, but that's a win. That I don't actually have any WD-40, so that'll have to be a job. I'll go get some tomorrow because shops will be closed by now. Yeah, door panel back on. Should look like a car. And, well, this is the same day for me, different day for you guys, but I'll have not only a car with remote central locking, but I'll also have a car with a working driver's window. And the other three windows I gotta get to because I'm not 100% sure if they work or not. Don't wanna try them, them not work, me not have enough time to fix them, blah, blah, blah. So, another day. That'll wrap up this week's video. So if you 
watched the last video, you'll know that this video was filmed a week ago. Um, so I filmed two videos on the same day. This is the same day that I did the keyless entry. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. What are you doing, mate? Yeah, so the window's fixed, which is mint. Um, still need to get that WD-40, but I'll do that tomorrow and it will be sweet. And uh, in the coming videos on this thing, it will have a working window. How good. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you have any comments, questions, queries, chuck them in the comments down below. I love to hear them. I try to respond to every single one. All those good things, hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe. When I filmed this, we had 599, so hopefully we have a lot more than that now and we're up in the mid 600s, which would be mint because we're getting there. So cheers guys, have a good one.